In the highlands surrounded by the mountains of Ararat lies the civilization of Armenia, which existed since the Bronze Age. And then many centuries passed, including a lot of different kingdoms that just decided to spread their influence all over Armenia. In the 13th centuries, the Mongols came over, and then in the 17th centuries, the Ottomans came over. In the 1800s, the Russians and the Persians went to war, and then after the war ended, there were some treaties that were signed. Some of these treaties kind of made Armenia an autonomous state, even though they were technically still under Ottoman rule. Now, the main issue here that I haven't talked about is that Armenians are Christians, and they are under strict Muslim rule. That means that people did not like them. But the Armenians did not sit down. They pushed to fight for more rights for themselves in the Ottoman Empire. And then, oh. Oh, 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 Jesus. Yeah, the, the Sultan didn't like that. Uh, whew. That was, that's tough. During the 1890s, there was also the Armenian Revolution Federation, which were people that said, hey, this ain't right. We deserve rights. And then a few years later, yay, the Ottoman Empire began to collapse. That means that you might, maybe, hopefully, won't get oppressed in the future anymore. Ever. Right? Anyways, Istanbul began to think that Armenia was sus, and also some of their soldiers were fighting in the Russian army. And there's a world war going on. So, um, yeah, they decided to perish a large portion of the Armenians. I cannot do credit to the Armenian Genocide with just a few words, so I won't try to. I advise you to dig more into it if you're really interested, but it, yeah, it, it wasn't it, it wasn't very pretty. No, not at all. But hey, look at that. Um, they, they have a republic now. Oh, wait, nope. Oh, it's... Nope, it's, it's gone. Anyways, life kind of sucks. And then Joseph Stalin died, and Khrushchev took over, and then life became a little better. Anyways, and then Gorbachev came, and Gorbachev was a nice softy, and the Armenians began to peacefully demonstrate for better environmental care, because there's a lot of Soviet factories in their country, and it's not looking pretty. Gorbachev wasn't really able to do anything, and then the country was like, hey, independence? Yeah, independence. Anyways, after fighting the Soviets for a little bit, on August of 1990, Armenia declared its sovereignty on its territory. Yeah, independence, woohoo. So the first few years of independence, economy, kinda not very cool, as the first few years of independence usually goes. And then, to add to that, Azerbaijan's popular front was like, yo, let's blockade this bitch. And since Armenia's economy relied 85% on cargoes that arrived through rail traffic, this was kind of a yikes. Oh yeah, Turkey also joined the blockade against Armenia. You know, keep them in mind. Anyways, a year after, both countries kind of in not a great state, so uh, they agreed to a ceasefire. It was a pretty devastating conflict, and it's a conflict that we will see again. There was a revolution in 2018, which it's it was a velvet revolution. Nothing was really fired, and it was just a bunch of anti-government protests in Armenia. And now today, we're in a little bit of a crisis, but the other thing is that there's been a new clash between Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Turkey saw that and went like, hey, let's help my old friend Azerbaijan again and join in again. Fortunately, the war was ended in six weeks. Nevertheless, the conflict between these countries are bl as blatant as ever and something kind of needs to be done. Anyways, how are its human rights stats? Eh, not the worst. Definitely not the worst. How about its economy? Oh, nice. G good stuff. Ooh, has literacy of 100? Must be smart. Anyways, they like to use obsidian and jewelry. They have an existing film industry. Football is popular, and they're a big fan of the Mediterranean cuisines. All right, so that's what I learned about Armenia by reading the Wikipedia page. Of course, if you want to know more, definitely you should do your own research, but hopefully this video was helpful, at least at giving a peek of what Armenia is like to you guys. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.